This is our sweet Zuzu. We're enjoying a quiet, private moment. I've already had other girls and uh, a boy, beastie boy in here. I want you to look at this. This is very unusual. This is a very long ear for this dog. I'm just like thinking, are they really this long? They're just so silky, soft, wow, and so red. She's got this gorgeous red in her uh, fur. I think you can pick this up pretty good because the lighting is really working for us today a little better. I still think it looks warmer. This just looks warmer to me right here. It doesn't look as bright. It's There you go. That's a little bit better on the light. That's normal to have it a little lighter in places. This is her puppy coat letting go. And you can see underneath, with Zoo Zoo, that her fur underneath all that, see how thin it is at the top? And you go down in here, and this is where it gets real thick. This is interesting. I learned this online from somebody who raised doodles for many years, and I was like, wow, I didn't know that. So learn a lot of what I learned from. Um, other people, and then of course my own experience. Um, but she's a sweetheart. She's um, a 12 week old doodle, completely trained. I'm not sure if she's going to be adopted this weekend. Um, nobody's put a deposit on her, but look at that beautiful face of hers. I ought to get a snapshot of that. Yeah, just the cutest thing, chewing her little bone. She's like really enjoys being right beside me, right here with me. And um, she likes this private time with me, too. She does not. Well, we got one in the group that's just kind of takes over, no matter where, who she's put with. So the dogs do like much better to be out here without, you know, when they can get my attention. She's just very sweet natured. And this cute little doodle eyebrows are coming out. This just cracks me up how they have these little doodle eyebrows. I haven't done anything to them, shaved them, haven't done anything to their eyelashes yet either. Um, I don't think I would. I love those eyelashes. She as close as she can to me. She turned all the way around, has the whole sofa turned as close as she can right here to my side so she can be as near me as possible. Just a happy doggy. Very sweet girl. Very well trained. Um, potty trained, knows 10 commands, probably more. I have to start adding up where we've gone in the last couple of weeks. I don't like this now. What you're noticing, you see her actually eating, chewing, and swallowing? I'm going to have to watch her. She may be a strong chewer and able to take off more. So what you do is when you, you see this bone, see how she's licking and chewing these small pieces, and that's normal. So what we're doing is we're looking to see how much is she taking off. Be, able, be aware when you give your dog your rawhide. Nothing wrong with the rawhide. I, I've learned that with this big ones. These big old honking pieces like that, they're fine. But um, be aware of how small it's getting. I noticed one of ours really brought it down to a small lut and I was like, mm, that's enough. Plenty. Got to take it away from them. Let them digest it. See how they're doing and then they can get back to it maybe tonight if they want. But they absolutely love raw hides. Yes, you do, you're a sweet girl. But she's just a wonderful dog. Absolutely amazing puppy. And she's for adoption as of right now. You know, May, whatever this is, 19th. 